So we're looking now at how do we calculate this last column here. Now, I already have numbers filled in here, okay, for this whole thing. You'll notice I didn't put numbers in here because I just made these numbers up. Do not copy these numbers. If you copy these numbers, they are wrong, and I will know, okay? So here's how we're going to calculate this last column, all right? We have our equation down here at the bottom, okay? We need to know the number of cells in each phase, total number of cells counted, um, and 720 minutes, okay? So we're just going to work on this first cell here, all right? We need the number of cells in interphase, okay? Because we're just going to do interphase now. We calculated there was 145 in interphase. So I'm going to go ahead and type down 145. Again, your number is going to be different, okay? Then I need the total number of cells that were counted. Notice I've got the total number here. How did I get that? I added up all these numbers, okay? So I've got 201. I'm going to move that over so it's in the right spot. And then we know it takes 720 minutes, okay? So if I put this into my calculator, 145 divided by 201 times 720, I get the amount of time it takes for interphase to happen. It's just this column. Okay, so I end up getting 519.4 minutes, okay? Just round, there was a huge long decimal after here. This is what we want. How long does it take to do interface? Now you're gonna do the same thing with the next one, okay? But the next one is not interface, it's prophase. So instead of 145 minutes, we've gotta use 20 minutes. Everything else can stay the same. We still have the same total number of cells, we still have 720 minutes, and we're just going to go ahead and do the math again.